Sometimes people have what it takes, but they haven't recognized it yet. Just go forward. So what do you need to do? How do you stand out? So what you need to do is be that person that's different and is bigger than you think. Rise from the ashes and fly like the phoenix is that you are. Everybody and hello, this is Andrew David, Blake Newbar's partner program, the High Performance Call, daily coming at you to talk a little bit about mindset, a little bit about skill set. The other day we got into marketing and advertising and Facebook, Facebook basics together with Darren. Uh, make sure that you watch that. The recordings are pretty much caught up at this point from over the last month. All the calls that were held and were recorded should be up there at this point. So uh, get out and, and watch some of the recordings if you've missed any days. They're not in order. I'm sorry. Um, she just went back through and, and got as many up as she could. So um, we've been talking about challenge and growth and pushing yourself and how you approach the day. Had some conversations with, I mentioned I had a conversation with a, a friend of mine this morning. He, he asked for a checkup from the neck up. Had a conversation with my mom um, over the weekend about siblings and friends and family members. Had a, a conversation with someone else on Saturday um, and, and someone that I'm mentoring uh, as well. And there was a thought that came up because I was reading one of my novels. I like reading, you know, self-development books and personal development, all of that. I'll be finishing um, for, I don't know, the third or fourth time, the, the book by Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich is what I'm reading through for a personal development side. But I was reading a book that has nothing to do with that. That's a, it's a fantasy novel. It's instead of, you know, spending all my time watching TV every once in a while, if I need to kind of just decompress, that's something that I do. And there was this amazing quote in there. After talking with some people that were kind of in this complaining mentality and talking with my fiance about how she realizes because she's kind of disconnected from some family and friends throughout the years that are doing the same, right? They just, they seem to complain. And so there was this thought that I want to leave you guys with, and I want to touch on it briefly and then give you something to go do in inside this book. It said, you could lament the cruelty of the world, but if all you did was cry, you were no longer a victim of circumstances, but a co-conspirator of your own tragedies. We all have problems and the world is full of all sorts of, you know, if you wanted to look at certain elements, you could almost think hey, it's Armageddon, right? There's problems with currency all over the world there, you know, for one of the first times recently and since like 99 or something, the Euro dropped below the dollar, there's other issues going on in the U.S. There's supply chain issues. There's, you know, this happening and that happened. And there's violence. There's craziness. Last week, I talked about Billy Joel and we didn't start the fire and how a lot of stuff isn't brand new. But a lot of us, uh, everybody's got those struggles. And then on top of that, you know, some of you guys are dealing with personal work or family or illness or other things that we've all got issues, all of us. How you handle each and every day of your life is really what it's all about. And you can cry about the world. You can fuss and can lament the cruelty of it all. But if the only thing that you're going to do is cry, then you're no longer a victim of circumstance, but a co-conspirator of your own tragedies. At some point, you got to stop crying about it and get something done, right? You have to modify how you approach things. You have to get to work. You have to put in more effort and I fully understand some people have to put in more effort than others to balance the scales as it were. But I promise that someone that is in a more difficult situation than you has been able to overcome. Someone that is less capable than you has found the way to do it simply by persevering and belief. And I had um, I had a conversation with someone the other day, not anyone from Blake's team. Um, I, I'm going to wrap this up. And here's, here's the challenge for today. Recognize where you're at. Recognize if there are any moments that you are complaining. Um, find a way to rewrite the dialogue that you have with yourself. 
And today, make it a day of action. Make it a day that you follow through with each of the commitments that you have to yourself. If you want to build confidence in yourself, if you want to build confidence in your life, follow through with the commitments that you make to you. Nothing will empower you more than being true and full of integrity to yourself. Okay. On that note, go out and be awesome and, um, you know, make it an amazing day. So sometimes people have what it takes for them. Go forward. So what do you need to do? How do you stand out? So what you need to do is be that person that's different and is bigger than you think. Rise from the ashes and fly like the Phoenix is thing.